<laughs> anyway, oh my goodness, it is a beautiful day. Everybody is outside <laughs> loving it, and we got some zoo school students. Oh, yeah. Say that three times fast. How cool yes. is that, zoo school? We're going to tell you all about that in just a moment, but do you want some free food? Okay. Yes. I would love some free food. Pico de Gallo is here to share their mole fries recipe and tell you how you can win some of that free food just by wearing your favorite Spurs gear. And how about a $50 gift card to the Hard Rock Cafe? You can use it towards, oh, I don't know, maybe some margaritas, maybe their jalapeno burger. Sounds good to me. Okay, plus make your mark and make it stick. How you can snag personalized stickers that could get folks stuck on you. <laughs> All right. I'm thinking I, of the song stuck on. I was going to say, how much of that grandpa juice did you just have? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just te I'm teasing. Come you back, come back, come back. Just All right. I've got you know, <laughs> color in my hair. All right. Well, we have Pico de Gallo in the house today, and we are starting the show because it's five o'clock somewhere, right, Jorge? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> Jorge Paez yes. is here, bartender extraordinaire. So, grandpa juice, huh? Absolutely, yes. And the name came from? That came from, actually, it's inspired by Ginobili himself. Okay. Yeah, just because, you know, while he's in the game, he's out there doing good. It's sweet as a kick, just like him, you know, doing sweet. It has that powerful punch while he's See, playing. See, that's what it so means. Isn't that cool? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice recovery. So, where did the, the grandpa thing come in from? I'm sorry? Where did the, the name grandpa? Well, Patty Mills actually first first one that... Pretty much called him that, and it kind of stuck, and it went from there. Yeah, so. <laughs> At least I'm in good company with Right, you. <laughs> see? Okay, so, so how do we what do we start it? with? Okay, so we're going to start with one and a half ounce of Cinco Vodka. Mm, now, Cinco. the reason we're using Cinco Vodka is because it represents the five championships ah. that the Spurs have won. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. So All we're going right. to go ahead and do one and a half ounce of that. So here, okay. here we go. All right, so here we go. One and a half ounces, right in there. Okay. Look, since there's only five stars, put a little extra in for good measure. Are you want, just, you want a little extra? Just in case for the... Uh, well, we're, we're hoping these, for that sixth one, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Now, this is pineapple cider syrup, so uh -huh. we're going to do one and a half of that also. Same. Pineapple okay. cider? cider? Yes. Pineapple well, cider syrup. Yes. This. That sounds interesting. Oh, yeah. It's got... Yeah, you can really? smell it. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 One and a half of cranberry juice. One and a half of cranberry juice. Okay. And then? You're so precise and delicate with your <laughs> with your pores. So. And then we're going to go ahead and you want to flip that right over. Okay. We're going to do a three-quarter ounce of lime juice. Three-quarter ounce of lime juice. And there we go. There we go. Okay. And all you do now is just add this ice and go ahead and shake. Okay. Add the ice. Close it up. Shake it up. There's mint. I always feel like it's a mint julep. And I know it's not. It's, you know, it's a vodka. It looks drink, refreshing, though. It does look okay. very refreshing because mint is very refreshing. Okay. Well, Let's drain this. Yes, and right in, right in here. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, okay. Cool. And then what do we And we go ahead and garnish it with? it with a few blueberries right over here. Uh, as many as you like. Oh, see, we like blueberries. And it's a, okay. it's a great color as you go into spring and summer as well. That little okay. bit of mint. And, and put the mint on there and a little sprig. There we go. And you're all set. Oh, all right. Right. There there look go. at that. Well, thank you so much, Jorge. Thank you. <laughs> you here's know, here's the grandpa juice. Yes, this is great. It's at the beginning of the show. So <laughs> by around 1.30, it'll get good. Okay. You know, and this is going to be good to uh, go with some mole fries. Gosh, no, this is so cool. All Gilbert right. De La Paz is here with a recipe that you can only try at Pico de Gallo. And I'm going to tell you how to get some free food around here. So mole fries, this is like you said, almost the, the Canadian version or the Mexican version of the Canadian Poutine. Poutine, exactly. Okay. So, now that you got your drink, okay. oh, yes, now no, you need good. some food with now this. Now need some food. This is, this is how I like I like yeah. to drink and cook. Yeah, <laughs> okay. exactly. Yeah, okay. You know, and um, what, how this came about is uh -huh. because, you know, mole, our, especially our poblano mole, uh -huh. is the national dish of Mexico. So we took something that was traditional at Pico de Gallo, and we did a little spin to it, you know, because... And because there, there can be s several ingredients, right? In exactly. There? There's like over two dozen ingredients in our mole. And that's the thing. When, you, when you're smelling this coming out of this pan, you cannot nail one specific ingredient because there's no. just it, so many things. Yes, yeah, so you really need all the ingredients because that's what makes mole. So a couple of them are some chocolate. Mm -hmm. There's chocolate in there. There's several dried chilies in there, and and then you have um, of course garlic, and mm -hmm. almost all Mexican cuisine, and breadcrumbs, peanuts. So it, it is a very complex but delicious sauce. 
Mm -hmm. And here, like I said, um, we have Thirsty Thursday here at Pico de Gallo. Oh, what happens on Thirsty Thursday? We have a little bit of party. More grand yes. <laughs> And we have it mixed with a trivia night. So uh -huh. this Thursday, um, tomorrow, we have our Spurs trivia night. So we invite y'all to come out in your Spurs gear um, because we have something special for y'all. We have um, free chili con queso and chips if you wear your Spurs gear. Oh, so if you fantastic. wear Spurs gear, you get free food. You get a free appetizer, exactly. right? Exactly. You know, right. we want you to come out. It's free to play. We have prizes. Just come enjoy the drinks and um, and the great tasting appetizers. Okay. okay All right. So, so we've got the so here. fries here. And the fries, yes. And we're going to put a little bit of salt to Mole season on it. There, and we've got to kind of move yeah. along a little bit here yes. so yes. we can get a quick taste. And then we're going to place it. On once, our dish. Okay. Right once there. again, while we're finishing this up, Spurs Trivia Night is happening tomorrow night from Ooh. 6 to 8 at Pico de Gallo. And for more on the Familia Cortez restaurants, visit LaFamiliaCortez.com. A little mole on Ooh, there. And there you go. And we're just town right here. Give that a shot. Good, right? Mole, mole, mole oh, wow. good. <laughs> Those flavors in there are wonderful. <laughs> mm, and hot fry, too. All right. You know what mm. else is wonderful? Zoo School, oh yeah, how you can send your little ones to one of the coolest schools I've ever been to. Mm, and we started with mole fries, and if that's not enough for you, how about shrimp and grits at one of the newest spots in town, Buddy V's Italian Cuisine, and it is good. It's our... Wednesday. <laughs> right? Yep. Getting, what better place to get wild than at the San Antonio Zoo? Kids love to go there. We used to take the kids there all the time. It was a great place to go to. Beautiful setting as well. Right? Yep. But what if your little kid could go to the zoo every day and get an education? Hmm. For real. I packed one wild lunch and checked out zoo school. <laughs> They did not have preschools like this when I was a kid. We are, of course, here at Zoo School, right next to the San Antonio Zoo. And joining me is Amanda McMickle, director here at Zoo School. This is incredibly cool because I know you guys have had this, but this is a brand new campus. Yes, it is. Um, so we have been at the zoo since about 2004, but it was just one class. We're in the Education Center. Um, and so it just grew and grew, and now we're licensed preschool. And we've uh, grown to five classes. We will be growing to 10 classes and will be the largest nature-based preschool in the country. Uh, the kids spend a, more than half their day outside playing with natural materials, so less dolls and cars and slides and more palms and rocks and sticks, um, just to lend to that more creative, innovative play. They still go to the zoo every day and they see animals, they interact with the animal care specialists, they make enrichment for the animals, which is like toys, and then they get to see the animals engage with those toys. That's incredible! That is an incredible to kind of enjoy your day if you are a preschooler. I'm so jealous. Okay, so besides, I mean, I'm noticing a lot of them running around, of course, which is great because they're getting their exercise. They'll just pass out when they get home. Yes. This is fantastic. I'm like, yes, keep running. <laughs> Let's talk about what, what you have here for, for them to do besides, uh, you know, the outdoors and, of course, the zoo next door. Yeah, as far as academically, anything that they that a typical school do inside, we bring it outside. So they bring out, they do nature journaling outdoors, but we have places like a life-size birdhouse to do that, an outlook. We have a beautiful pavilion that they'll eventually take naps under uh, and, and sleep outside in the breeze. Um, we have a touch pond um, where they can count critters. So they're doing a lot of their academics, of course, but they're doing it at, in the outdoor setting. And they're learning about how to, to secure a future for wildlife by taking care of the animals, by showing compassion to all living things. I'm noticing a lot of smiling, happy faces with a lot of laughter. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. The kids are having a blast exploring all these new areas we have here. Um, it's just a, just a incredible to watch them tumble down Challenge Hill and build and construct things out of, of logs and rocks and then see how high they can build it before it falls down and they burst into laughter. So it's just so much fun to see them in all these areas. Even the, you know, sneaking through the birdhouse and climbing up on the lookouts. It's just so much fun. Okay, so did I hear something about a challenge on the, a hill? There is a challenge on the hill and you can have to climb up and whichever way 
you can, get up on that fort and then come down in your own unique way. We're gonna go have some fun. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey you guys, we have a new student. Are you ready to show her how to do Challenge Hill? Yeah. On your marks, get set, let's go! Okay, we're gonna follow them. Okay, here we go. You guys go first. Hi. Hi, okay, so then now what do you do after you went up there? Who's ready to roll down this hill? Me. All right, you gotta wait for me though. If you want to send your kid to zoo school, what do you got to do? Go to our website, uh -huh. sazooschool.com, and there's an enrollment request link. Click on that, fill it out, it'll send your information straight to us, and we'll get you on the list. All right, thank you so much. Good, this is so you. much fun. For more information on the San Antonio Zoo and Zoo School, just head to our website, salive.com, where we've provided a link. Anybody up for Challenge Hill? Right? Oh, and look who we have here. This is a live look at some of the fun your kids could have as students there at the Will Smith Zoo School. And Christina Burgess joins me with one of the animal ambassadors because these guys help to teach too, right? Yeah, so we have Camo here. He's a Madagascan tree boa. Oh my goodness, oh, so the kids get to interact with these animals, sure, right? Sure, yeah, we get to, the kids get to see all kinds of different animals at the zoo every day. Okay, and we have, of course, this is two Samson zoo school and students. And this is Brooks. Hey, what'd you think about that zoo school, guys? <laughs> Pretty cool? Mm -hmm. Yeah? What was the best part? Um, animals. The, the animals, like the snake that Miss Christina has right there. Do you see yep. that thing? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah? I yep. saw that guy. What do you guys like about zoo school? And? What do you like doing at zoo school? Do you like... Play. Huh? Do you like playing? Mm -hmm. playing? Like playing? you like being outside? Play. Playing? And I like I like bikes. You like bikes too. Okay. <laughs> and so we've had that snake and now this oh, thing. Wow, have you guys seen this animal? Look at, wow. Right here? Uh, Brooks, do you know what that is? What is that thing? A a lizard. A lizard, a lizard? you yeah. are correct. Exactly. So who do we have here? He's a lizard from and, Australia. He's a blue and, tongue skink. And I play it. If you want to wake up and stick out his tongue, you could see that it's blue. Samson, do you know his tongue is blue? Mm -hmm. wow. You did? And he's sleeping. He's sleeping? He's having so much fun. He's just taking he's a little he's, nap. He's missing all the fun here, isn't he? So how often do the kids <laughs> get to meet animal awesome. ambassadors? Um, so every once in a while while they're walking around the zoo, if we're out talking to guests, they're around too and get to interact with them also. So they get to I'm go gonna, to the zoo on occasion like too, being yes. at zoo school? Oh, yeah. Because it's right next door, right? Exactly. <laughs> so we see them walking around all the time. Now, as we just kind of saw, there is so much more to learn at zoo school than, you know, just interacting with the animal ambassadors. What else is there uh, for them to learn? Uh, so they have all kinds of things with the animals and they get to go outside and play, learn about nature. Mm -hmm. Um, taking care of our planet and things like that. So recycling. Yeah, I love how in, in the story you were talking about how it, you know, it, it's the whole kind of eco cycle. Exactly. And the ecosystem out there that they have to learn all about and not just playing. But it, but it's a great opportunity. I mean, they were burning off a lot of steam as well. Oh too, right? yeah. They must oh sleep. my goodness! Look they at this guy so coming. Good. What is this thing? Turtle. Tur tur this is a what? Is that a turtle? Almost. Or, or, or uh, what do you it? think, Brooks? It, it, it looks like a turtle. Look, it does look like, like a turtle. turtle. Yep. Do you know, Samson? What is that thing? I don't remember. You don't remember? Say don't worry. Armadillo. Christina's going to tell you. Armadillo. 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 Good job. Oh, yeah, so shaking. this is Rita. So she's a little excited about all the fun going on here. So these are three banded armadillos from South America. Why They're related to our nine banded mm -hmm. that we Why have here in Texas. Why is it shy? I am sad. Why is, Why is he sad? sad? Oh, she's not sad. She's just curled up. So this is yeah. what they do to keep nice and safe. See? So and these they are the only guys that curl up into a ball completely. You want to uh. pet him too? Oh, What's yeah. he feel like? Is he? Is, does does he feel looking? hard? Yeah. Huh? So you know all those hard scales you I see back there? there? It's uh. just like your fingernails. It's the same thing. I see him. And it even has little Your hairs, face? just like you have little hair. Yes, you got a tail. Yeah. <laughs> Where's tail? Her tail's right, right there. there. Yeah, right see? Oh, wow. And look at a big, look at the big fingernails that it has. Yeah, what do you think they use those big nails for? Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Yeah, they it's... like to eat bugs, so they dig up the dirt and look for bugs in the ground. Oh, wow. Oh. What's this thing? 
Oh, wow. That's very good. Did you get that at, at zoo school? Yes. You did? Yep. Well, that's fantastic. <laughs> you want to go back to zoo school? Mm -hmm. You do? All right. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if you want to go back to zoo school, we could all sorts of cool sticks and stuff like that. All <gasps> right. They're going to start building something over there. <laughs> all right. So if any kids are watching right now, I'm sure they're asking, how? How can I How can I join zoo school? I tell you what, just head to our website, salive.com, and the San Antonio Zoo is gearing, up, gearing you up for spring break with their jungle boogie break happening March 10th through the 18th for more information information on them and the Will Smith Zoo School and how your child can attend, you know what to do. Just head to our website and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Christina, Samson, Brooks, thank you so much for being here today and being on TV. Did you have fun? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> All right, next on the show, stick it out with your very own personalized stickers. David Elder takes you to the Rocket Monkey. The show how you can win a free $50 gift card at the Hard Rock Cafe, and we're turning up the heat with our jalapeno burger recipe. All right, tomorrow on SA Live, spring into nature with outdoor family fun. Get ready to get messy with a DIY terrarium activity your kids will love to get their hands dirty with. Plus, bugs, butterflies, fishing, and more. Nature crafts that will get your kids up and moving with Cibolo Nature Center. That's all tomorrow at 1. All right, are you ready? Stick it. <laughs> Twice you've said that. <laughs> Bring it on. We are talking about... Look at these fantastic stickers, a local business, and these are all customized. Oh, yeah. These are some killer designs that you can customize. In fact, this one right here is the uh, drawing by the owner's daughter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so even your kid's artwork can be turned into stickers. Here's a familiar logo. Oh, that's my favorite logo. sticker of all. Oh, right really? <laughs> Aren't you a little company girl? I might be a little biased, <laughs> yes. All right, but take a look at what David found for you. It's David Elder with SA Live. Well, I'm out here by the airport here in San Antonio at a little place called Rockin' Monkey. They're a print shop that's making killer stickers and awesome designs for businesses here in San Antonio. And they're going to put you in a sticky situation in the best possible way. Rockin' Monkey owners Josh and Stephanie Bernstein's journey started years ago. Very busy um, balancing a family with two kids and then um, a marriage and then a business with employees. It's it's crazy, but it's been a fun ride. We love it. The husband and wife duo started the business as any good tech business starts out of their garage. Started out small and we we were perfectly fine with it and it just kind of snowballed into what it is and we had no idea and it's been a really awesome surprise. They stuck to it and now they have a gorgeous office with a team of talented designers and high-tech printers. We ship stickers to South Korea. Um, we do a, there's one client in Hawaii that we ship a lot to, one in Alaska that we do a ton of stickers for. Vinyl, canvas, weather resistant, you pick the material and they can make it happen. The best way to do it is to go to our website because that gives you a, uh, a general feel for what types of stickers that we do. I sent them some familiar designs to see how their machines work. So this is our uh, print shop here at Rocket Monkey and right now we are printing out your SA Live logo as well as your Elder Eats logo. Their shop is amazing and covered in stickers. They even let me add a few around the place. All right, so there's the SA Live sticker. We're gonna give it a permanent home here. project is too large and no task is too small for this extraordinary team of designers. Well, Josh, Stephanie, thank you so much for having me out here today. And you guys, if you're looking to get yourself some good marketing material here in San Antonio, you got to hit up Rock and Monkey. Check this out. Both our logos out here printed on these awesome printers. It's a really streamlined service and they have a brand new printer out here that has no stickers on it. So I get to actually be the first one to slap on some stickers. Oh my goodness. For SA Live, I'm David Elder.
That is so cool that you can turn your kids' artwork into stickers right? like that. Hey, Rocket Monkey is hosting their free Rock the Alley event Saturday, March 17th from 11 a.m. until noon at their location, which is at 1031 East Nakoma. And the one, the only, our producer, Rossi, is even helping planning with the event. So you know it's going to be good. And there's going to be local artists, live art, music, food, and a whole lot more. For information on Rocket Monkey Design and Print House, visit SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Fiona. You're apparently getting the party started over there with some margaritas. How'd you manage that job? Oh, uh, yeah, the Hard Rock Cafe is helping put the happy in your happy hour with these colorful margaritas. And we're going to tell you how you can win this year's Hard Rock Cafe Fiesta Medal. And we're also heating things up with our jalapeno burger recipe. Plus, still ahead, more food. It's one of the newest spots in town, and we're showing you what they're serving up. It's Buddy V's signature shrimp and grits recipe. That and more when SA Live continues. If you well, you know what they say, it's 5 o'clock somewhere, or SA Live has started, and so has the party. So Chef Abel Sanchez from Hard Rock Cafe is here to help put the happy in your happy hour. Yes, You've got some really colorful margaritas, and we're going to tell folks how to win this year's Hard Rock Cafe Fiesta Medal, and also a $50 gift card, but stick around, because we're going to tell you how to do that in the next couple of minutes. Okay, so what is the Air Mexico Margarita Flight? It's basically three flavored margaritas based off of one simple margarita mix. So okay. it's an ounce and a half of Evian tequila. Okay. So I'll do this. You just tell me when. You're good Whoa. there. All right. Three quarters of an ounce of Cointreau. Okay. Uh-huh. A little bit of our margarita mix, which is right here. Okay. You tell me when. You're good there. Okay. Shake it all up. Okay. There we go. And then after we shake... Pour a little bit into each glass. Put it up here. Whoop. There we go. And then the different flavors come from the different syrups. Okay. So we have a wild berry, if you want to put one. So this is, this is on the menu, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And it comes along with chips and salsa, and then a little bit of the blue contro in another one. Okay. And then a little bit of mango in the next. And the next. So it comes with chips and salsa. Yeah. And it, there we go. And it's on the menu. And then there we go. That's the margarita flight. And then the perfect world, that's your, that's what you get. That's what you get. Yes. So there, And look at how colorful that is, especially for spring. Exactly. And Fiesta's coming up and, and everything. You guys have an event coming up, the South Bank Fiesta Metal Stroll. What is that? Uh, basically, it's uh, a combination of a couple of the local restaurants and bars. Um, and we'll be giving away our metal. Giving the away your medal. Yes. So that's how you can win the medal. Yes, so you want to be sure to attend that event, the South Bank Fiesta Medal Stro Stroll. And speaking of free things, you guys also have a $50 gift card giveaway for our viewers coming up right after the break. And then we're going to fire up the griddle and make your signature jalapeno burger, yes, right? Okay. But first, let's take a look at what's happening at the Tobin Center, brought to you by BMW of San Antonio. SA Live while I'm out here at All Smiles Dental Center to show you how you can get a wider, brighter smile that you've always dreamed of. Let's go inside and check it out. Laser technology. And with us today to show you how you can get a wider, brighter smile is Dr. David Vela with All Smiles Dental Center. And what kind of technology are we looking at right here? Fantastic. So what we have here is a 3D simulator. So what we do is we use this little wand, this machine here, we mm -hmm. can go through scan the entire mouth and get basically an exact replica replication of what your mouth looks like there. Put it on this screen and then we run a simulator here that shows you a pretty accurate representation of where we can get your teeth beforehand. You're telling me this little wand, right, just go in your yeah, mouth, Exactly. gives you the whole model and this is actually somebody's teeth right here. Exactly. That's exactly. so cool. That's so easy to look at. Within minutes we get the scan. We can move this scan. We can look at just the top teeth. We can look at the bottom teeth. We can look from the inside of the mouth, so we can wow. see 
exactly how your teeth are, where anything imperfections are, something that you may want to fix, mm -hmm. talk about it and come up with a plan. We can zoom in. It gives us really just a whole lot of information. Now, I mean, the number one concern for a lot of people when you go to the dentist, yeah. is it painful? Is, it painful? is this painful? The fantastic thing, everything we're talking <laughs> about today is no shots, no poking, nothing that hurts there. So no gooey stuff in your mouth. Everything here is just 3D scanning. So we're using the latest technology to get you better results, get you faster results, more accurate results. All right, Dr. Vela, so how do you get from point A to point B? After you get your teeth modeled on here, how do you get them wider? Sure, once, once our teeth are in the position we want them, we can use actually some laser whitening to get the teeth as white as they're gonna get there. It used to be 60 minutes of the gel being on your teeth. Wow. With the laser, it's down to 18 minutes because the laser goes in and chemically activates it and you get a much quicker result, much less sensitivity uh, in a fantastic, you know, fantastic white teeth. What's the typical turnaround when they see results? When do the patients actually see that? Good, so our, our average uh, Invisalign case uh, is right at 12 months there. So within a year, we're from start to finish, finishing cases there. You actually have a special that's going on right now, is that correct? Exactly, we do. So what we are gonna do is for the first 10 people that go through Invisalign, we'll do the free in-office uh, laser whitening afterwards, which is normally $595. So you'll get that for free after your treatment. Wow. Uh, so this is a $595 discount exactly. off of a typical procedure. Exactly. So you could trust bringing your family out here to All Smiles Dental Center because guess what? They're all family too. With me right here is Stephanie Vela. She is the wife of Dr. Vela and you're also a registered dental hygienist yes, with them. So tell me about how important is the family dynamic here at All Smiles Dental Center? Well, we feel since we are a family, you know, Dr. Vela, like you said, is my husband. Dr. Delados is my dad and my mom is one of our office managers. We feel that that we really know how to treat our patients like family. Um, we have their best interests at heart, and so we just want to make sure when they come in, they're comfortable. Not a lot of people enjoy going to the dentist, so we want to make them feel, you know, like they're part of our family and somewhere where they can feel um, comfortable and, and trust us. Um, we like to think of ourselves that, you know, we're family owned, but we're patient driven. Um, because at the end of the day, our patients is what's the most important thing to us. And to get more information on All Smiles Dental Center, you can call 210-804-2212. That's 210-804-2212. Or you can go online to allsmilesdentalcenter.com. And now it's my turn, right? I get my right. Yep. <laughs>
uh, the jalapeno burger there at yes. the Hard Rock Cafe. Now, you guys have your Fiesta medal that folks can purchase now, right? But exactly. there's also a giveaway. Yes, uh, and you can go to uh, any of our social media sites to fi- find out how you can win that and purchase those medals. Okay, and you have the South Bank Fiesta medal stroll coming exactly. up? Exactly, so it's a coordinated event with some of the other uh, local bars and restaurants, so Hall at the Moon um, and other, some of the other surrounding um, restaurants, Paisanos. Um, it's all a coordinated event. Uh, all celebrate Fiesta. Okay. Now, we've been telling folks that there's a $50 gift card Ooh. from the Hard Rock to give away. How can they win that? You can go to our Facebook page or any of our other social media sites. Okay. You know, speaking what? of Fiesta, mm-hmm. these are such great right? Fiesta colors. That's what I was saying earlier for spring this, and for Fiesta. On this Fiesta. little flight yeah. right in here. You know, it's great. And and just the chips and the and the salsa, too. So. And you can order that, right? Because we yes, showed you that can earlier. Order, you can order the flight, and it's a great way to try out the different margaritas. And then those margaritas are also available on their own. So if there's one in particular that you like, uh-huh. just go ahead and order the bigger size. All right. So let's start with the kind of the turquoise kind of blue one right there. What mm-hmm. is that one called? It's uh, the blue Caraco. Okay. And then the mango margarita. Okay. And then the wild berry margarita. And the wild, and the wild berry. berry. My favorite's the mango. That's the same. I'll try the wild berry. My little wild berries. <laughs> the wild berries. <laughs> Ooh, that's good too. <laughs> All right. Great stuff from the Hard Rock Cafe. Remember, you can win a $50 Hard Rock gift card or have a chance to win their Fiesta medal for this year just by attending the South Bank Fiesta medal stroll for that medal winning opportunity. For more information on them, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, next on the show, an Italian shrimp and grits recipe from one of the newest restaurants in town, Buddy V's. Oh my goodness, just feast your eyes. This is a little slice of heaven around here. We've got the meatballs and cannoli and everything else. Buddy V's at La Cantera and Chef Daniel Nemec is here and wow and wow. Well, thanks for having me, I appreciate it. Oh my goodness, and we are making this delectable dish right now. Yes, that is our garlic shrimp uh, on a bed of uh, Parmesan polenta. Okay, how do we get started? All right, well, you have your garlic butter right here. Put a little spoonful of garlic butter in there. Spoonful in there. It's gonna sizzle. All right. Then once we have that in there, we'll add our shrimp. Okay. And the nice thing about a dish like this is, with shrimp, it doesn't take long. No, it doesn't take long at all. Even this size, what, maybe a couple of minutes or so? Uh, about a minute on each side. Mm-hmm. Next, we're going to add, oops, next we're going to add some of this roasted garlic. Mm-hmm. And what this is going to do is it's going to bring out all the aromas and oh, flavors wow. of that. We're going to hit the rest of it. A little bit of white wine. Mm-hmm. To deglaze. So... As that's cooking, you can just smell that that garlic and those oils just coming out. Oh my gosh, the garlic and the white wine together is it's just, it's amazing. Mm. And so after this, we let it kind of thicken a little bit, almost into a sauce. Okay. Um, and that's pretty much done. I mean, it's... Uh, that's how long it takes to cook those shrimp. That's once how get, long. Once they get pink, they're basically done. Once they get done. pink, they're pretty much done. Because you overcook shrimp and then they get kind oh, of mushy. Oh, it's, it's and, horrible. And then we've got... And then we have the Parmesan polenta. polenta. Um, and on top of that, or uh, put that on top of the plate, just just as so. And you're out there at La Cantera. Correct. And We're obviously specializing in Italian. Italian. Food. The focaccias, I mean, it looks like it's the size of home plate, basically. Oh, yeah. We, I mean, so we, we sit there. there and we, we bake that on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's all for our complimentary, complimentary for our guests. Um, and so they come in, and that's that's what we give them with a little bit of uh, balsamic and uh, uh, Texas extra vir- virgin olive oil. Oh, that and a glass of wine, and you're just Oh, yeah. Set. So we're just going to turn this back on real quick, and we're going to saute our, our uh, spinach and tomatoes in that. Okay. And of course, the cannolis on there. Oh, the cannolis right here. Uh, we have uh, uh, eggplant parmesan. Uh, we have uh, this is actually Buddy V's grandmother's recipe on the on the meatballs. Good lord, look at that pile of meatballs there. <laughs> and you said the specialty and is, that dessert over there is a lobster the tail. That's what he's known for. So how is that? Is that a? It's it's a, a basically pastry? like a puff pastry. Okay. And it's filled with a custard and it's baked and then then we fill that with a. Uh, uh, vanilla cream. Mm-hmm. So, 
So basically, once this gets just a little bit wilted, okay, and then we're going to plate that up on the plate on top of the polenta. And the presentation is so, so beautiful. And then the shrimp. What's your favorite dish? If, you were to, if somebody said, pick one dish, and that's what I want. God, what it's it? such a hard thing to, to think of. I really, really like uh, the orequeta. Uh, it's just, it's, let me, it's, let me help you it here. means baby, baby, or not baby, small ear. Um, and it's just so nice. It's very fresh. There, it's not mm -hmm. a heavy red sauce or anything. It's just a real light. Um, you're using all the flavors and all the aromas of what we saute in. How was that? How that tastes? It's delicious. <laughs> well, You're laughing so. at me behind the cameras because I'm being, but you you have enough on there. I didn't want. Oh to, yeah, yeah. yeah. You I mean, you, you see what the finished product looks like. There, he's not going to miss it. Yeah. <laughs> and then now polenta is basically just. It's it's corn. It's, it's corn. ground corn. Okay. Um, I mean, it's a, Italian grits. Mm -hmm. if, us in the south, so, um, but, uh, and actually this, this uh, polenta we get from a place called Homestead uh, uh, in, outside of Waco. So it's a, it's a Texas, it's local Texas as well. And so. you need to do polenta uh, kind of like cut up into a, a firmer. Oh yes, we, we actually, or, or we, the use, we use the like firm that, polenta so. on our croutons for our, uh, our Caesar salad. We'll take those, we'll dice them in a little one inch squares, and then we'll, we'll fry those and those go on top of our, our uh, Caesar salad. Oh my goodness. In yeah. addition to this, we do have a new dish uh, for our lunch menu. It's our avocado uh, ranch and shrimp salad with roasted red peppers. Um, it's just such a, it's, it's great for Lent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it's perfect for Lent. So, and once again, you're located out there at um, La Cantera. Correct. Okay, and if you would like more information on Buddy V's, go to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Daniel, thank you very much. Thank you appreciate for having it. me. I appreciate it. Keep we only have nine seconds. I know. We have eight now. Oh, seven, now six. We'll see you tomorrow at one. <laughs>